What's going on YouTube? This is Sean back for another video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install GTA 5 Redux mod. What the Redux mod is, is basically a mod that uh, overhauls the um, Grand Theft Auto game. Um, it's like a full total conversion of the game. Um, it basically improves graphics, it also brings a bunch of other features, but the main thing of it is the graphics. Um, some people like it, some people like natural vision, some people like visual V, some people like um, photorealistic, I mean there's a good bit of them out there that good graphics enhancement mods that people like out there. Um, I really don't have a preference, I mean Redux looks pretty good, I mean they all actually look, look pretty good, they look better than Vanilla Grand Theft Auto V. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to Google Grand Theft Auto V Redux, you're going to come to, you're going to see GTA 5 Redux.com, click that link. What you're going to do is, when you click that link, is go to download you're going to come to this page right here um, I downloaded the torrent you can download a zip, it doesn't matter, I downloaded the torrent I just use uTorrent for that um, just click download um, blah, 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 blah. there we go alright, you're going to scroll all the way down uh, maybe, there we go, pass all the features it's going to introduce <laughs> You're going to download version 1.3 or 1.4, it doesn't matter, they all install the same way. Um, just click download, and then with that download, next you're going to need OpenIV. Just go to Google OpenIV or just go to openiv.com. You're going to download it, click download now. Then you're going to Google Script Hook V. Now they just released a new version of the Script Hook, uh, I believe uh, a few days ago. Because they finally fixed it because it was broke when Rockstar updated Grand Theft Auto 5 this past update. They broke everything. <laughs> Go figure. But anyway, you want to download that? Here's your download right there. Alright, after all that stuff downloaded, you want to go open up all your files. Um, basically, with the Open IV, you want to click it, the Open VI setup, just run it, and install it wherever your game is. Now I'm not going to do that since I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm just let that be. Um, actually, I can do it anyway. What the heck? Uh, run it. Just the way I can show you guys that I did it that way. This way, I should say. Yep. Let it do its thing. Um, what you want to do is next, open up your... Maybe... Let's mm, back up. You want to go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 um, folder. You want to let Steam do, or Steam. <laughs> you want to let uh, OpenIV do its thing. Um, go find that script hook V folder, the uh, WinRAR. Open up the bin. You need just need the script hook V, the DLL, and the then put eight. You want to drag and drop them in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So there we go, we have OpenIV um, installed, we have ScriptHookV installed, yeah, just drop them, these two files, in your green directory, you'll be good to go. Alright, now that's done. I'm going to go ahead and open up your GTA 5 Redux folder that you just downloaded. You're going to see two files, you're going to see the v13fool.oiv, and you're going to see the Redux reshade. To me, all you need is the fool.oiv. What you want to do is you want to go up to Extract 2, Extract to the Desktop. Um, let it extract the desktop, and then you're going to see it like this right here. Alright, so after you have that done, you want to go to ahead and open up OpenIV. You want to click Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, okay. You want to verify your Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, folder. It should be Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Grand Theft Auto 5, or if you have um, Rockstar, be Rockstar Games, and then GTA 5 in there. Alright, continue, continue. It's gonna wait till this thing does its, you know, does what it does. But that's yeah, really rather a simple installation. Um, things do happen and things do get screwed up, so I mean, that's why I'm showing you, that way you know. Do you know what you're doing? Um, once you get inside OpenIV, you want to go to, um, first off, you want to make sure you have this handy dandy mods folder. Definitely. 
Um, my first video a while back with installing cars, I showed you how to make a mods folder. It's kind of simple. It's simple, but most oftentimes overlooked. So you make put yourself in a situation where the game, the mod breaks your game, and you have to install, you know, GTA 5 all over again. That's why I installed a mods folder because it is a pain. Anyway, after you have all that stuff done, you want to go to up to ASI Manager. You want to make sure that ASI Loader Open IV ASI is installed. Then you want to go up to Open Package Installer. You want to click your desktop and click that uh, GTA 5 Redux Full OIV. I told you to extract your desktop. You want to click Open that. I mean, uh, I already have it installed, so we'll see. It might just overwrite some things. But click Package Installer. Um, it's going to bring you to this install screen. You want to install it in your mods folder. It's going to take a minute or two, or maybe three minutes, um, to install the GTA 5 Redux in your GTA 5 game. Um, that's pretty much it as far as installing it. Now, I'm going to do a separate tutorial video. Some of you may get, you may load up into GTA 5 and you may crash. Um, I know a way to, um, what the recent updates anyway, how to um, not crash. So I'll show you in a whole separate video. If you do happen to load up and crash, just leave comments or just looking for that video. Um, it's really not that difficult. Um, I'll try to explain it the best I can. I mean, that's if you know you crash. I'm not saying this method right here, you're gonna crash. I can't say that for sure because everyone's computer, everyone's system is different. Me, unfortunately, when I built this brand new computer, I got caught in the whole GTA 5 brand new update. So it was like I had no choice but to update to the latest version. <laughs> Unless I downgraded, but that's just way too much work. <laughs> but I'm finally they, I'm happy they finally fixed the script hook. It was well needed. And the GTA modding community, I'm sure definitely thanks them <laughs> for their uh new update for script hook. Um and pretty much, I mean this thing's gonna do its um thing. It'll install um you know it'll take a little bit depending on your system um how you know if it's installed correctly is when you launch gta 5 regularly like you would uh run your gta 5.exe on your desktop uh right over here it'll uh just run it that way so you'll know as soon as you'll know it works because as soon as you run the game as you're loading you'll see the gta 5 redux um loading screens you'll see all that mess so i'm gonna go ahead and show you that and all we'll right, see what guys, we got now we're loading in the gta 5 right here which i think will go away you'll see right here that it says gta 5 redux.com um you'll see that that's what i said i was going to do is what it does so you can see that you have gta 5 and redux installed correctly um let, let it load up and all that we'll see how it looks I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of clips of it. Um, you'll see where it says Redux down here in the left corner. So you know it's installed correctly. Go to story mode. I'm going to show you like a, a glimpse of it that way. I'm going to let you guys surprise yourselves and see how good it looks to you. Um, aside from all my editing, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, it's really simple to install. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll see some new loading screens in here and all that um, type of stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and then record again in the game. Alright, we're back in game. You'll notice a slight difference in uh, the game. Especially in the sounds. In the you notice the difference in the sounds of the shotguns and all the guns. It also overhauls all the guns. Um... You'll notice different um, gun animations of people. You notice how you don't shoot them like once and they're dead. Depending on where you shoot them at. You'll notice uh, there's a Pepti truck right there. You'll notice all the billboards and stuff. So yeah, basically just that. You see the old whole overhaul again. Um, if you have any issues, let me know. Leave them in a the comment and I'll get back to you. That's, it. That's the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.